Before we start writing the game, we need to decide on two things. What the game needs to do, and what the game needs to look like. Because we're doing a simple game, we don't need to have very detailed plans, but we do need to do some planning. First, we'll look at the features we're going to add to the game. For this first version, we want to keep it very simple. You'll be able to create a player with different classes. The player can move around to different locations. Some of the locations have a monster they can fight. If the player defeats the monster, they get some gold, experience, and some loot. If the player loses to the monster, they return home and are completely healed. Some locations will also have a quest. If the player returns with the item needed to complete the quest, they'll receive experience points, gold, and a reward item. The location could also have a trader, so the player can buy and sell items, and will have the ability for the player to save and load games. For future versions of the game, these are some features I'd like to see added in. I'd like to create automated test, because as the game gets bigger and more complex, it's going to be difficult to test manually. I'd like to see the game support multiple languages, English, Spanish, French, German, whatever language you can think of. I definitely want to improve the graphics, and I'm thinking maybe Japanese RPG style. I'd like to add the ability for the player to learn crafting skills to create items. Maybe they'll need recipes, or they'll need certain skill levels. The player will be able to learn and use spells, maybe scrolls and potions. The player could wear different armor. We could add magic jewelry and the ability for the player to enchant items. Maybe add pets that will help the player out during combat. The first version of the game will have simple combat rules, but maybe in the future we can start applying bonuses based on the weapons and the type of armor for defense. It would also be nice to populate the game world from a file or from a database. That way we won't need to change the program if we want to add more locations. We would just change the data file. It would also be nice to create a game creator app so people who don't want to program but just want to build a world with monsters and locations can create the data files to use in this game. After deciding what features the game will have, I drew the screen. I don't have the scanned image of the paper that I drew it on, but this is what it looked like. In the upper left corner will be the player information, their gold, their experience, their hit points. The lower left will show their quest and their inventory. In the lower right will have their movement buttons and their combat buttons. And in the large upper right section will have their location, the monster they're fighting, if there's a monster at the location, and all the game messages. After deciding on the game screen layout, I drew a map of the world. And this is what it looks like. There are nine locations, not a huge amount, but enough for us to have three locations with monsters. The farmer's field has rats, the herb garden has snakes, and the spider forest has a giant spider. We'll also have two locations where the player can get quests, and a trading shop where the player can buy and sell items. For a small, simple program, this is enough planning. Now we can get started on writing the game.